Welcome to JTMJ Crafts. How's it going? How you doing? It feels like so, so long since I've seen all of my beautiful friends. I want to apologize for being, like, gone for like the last, like, I don't know, eight or nine days, I guess. I've been sick. And it seems like I would be sick for two or three days with one kind of a cold. Like, I have, like, a, a, some type of a flu bug, right? And then that'll be, I'll have that hanging on for, like, three or four days. And then there'll be, like, a day or so I feel better. And then, boom, I get sick with, like, a stomach bug. I'm just like, can you give me a break? And then I was all happy, go lucky this morning. Or last night, I should say. Uh, Thanksgiving. I have a like a five day weekend, four day weekend, nope. four days, yes, four days, four day weekend, and I'm just excited to get some videos done and get some prep done and get back on schedule. And I wake up this morning with a migraine, and I was like, "You are not playing in my favor right now." Ugh. So. My head's feeling better. I still kind of sound a little funky. But. We got a gift. It's a secret Santa. I don't know why I'm talking with the weird accent. So this. If you want to see this unboxed the first time. You can go back to a live stream. Um. I think it was two weeks ago. That's how long I've been gone. I mean, like, I feel like I've been gone forever. I'm still watching videos. I just, I haven't been putting anything out there. So, if you want to see the true unboxing of this and my true first, like, mind-blowing experience, you can go watch that. If not, you can watch it again right here. So... This is Secret Santa. Before I get anywhere with opening this or reading this little note here, I want to thank the Crafty Heffa for bringing this Secret Santa to the community. I love it. It's an awesome idea. Thank you so much, sister, for another awesome, awesome idea. Uh... You do so much for us. We really, truly appreciate it. So it says, May you, Trapper, and Mary Jane have a fabulous, colorful Christmas. Thank you for being a bright ray of sunshine in our little community. I hope you have a wonderful and relaxing holiday from your secret Santa. I'm honored. I, I don't know who this is from. And I, you know, the whole idea with Secret Santa, I've heard a lot of people doing their unboxings. Well, I want to know who sent it. It's Secret Santa. It's supposed to be secret. Just saying. I know. I know. Um, back to my old ways. But <laughs> it's supposed to be a Secret Santa. You're not supposed to know who sent it. Ah! My favorite kind of markers. I have a crush on these markers, y'all. I, I call. I don't really call it a crush. I just. I love these kind of markers. This brand is such an affordable marker. I. I have to thank my sister Stacy Graves. She's the one that turned me onto this. She's like, dude, if you want to start coloring, start with these. They're affordable. And that's one. I got this set, which is the original, regular, non-brush tip markers. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. They have been phenomenal. Uh, this is an 80 pack I paid 35 bucks for. You cannot beat that. Uh, there you are. I'm in love with these markers. 
And then my sister was like, yo, you gotta check these out. And I've been wanting these. And there was like four times where I told myself, go buy those damn markers. You know you want them, just go buy them. I'm like, man. Something's telling me no, don't. So I held off. Well, guess what? I got them in my secret Santa. These are the 48 real brush tip markers. These are mind blowing markers so far. I, I truly was shocked when I opened this up. These weren't even on my list. I was like, are you serious? How did you know? You must watch and listen. Ugh, I'm so, so honored. Thank you guys, or thank you my secret Santa so much. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So, I figured since we're here, and I was doing unboxing on these, I have a swatch sheet over here that I printed out at work. It's the Ohuhu 48 brush tips. I figured we'd do a little swatching. Um, I guess... Oh, there is. I guess I could do it off of the way they swatched. That's gonna take forever to put in order. So I'm just gonna go for it. So it does feel like it's been forever since I have seen or talked to anybody. I mean, I've still been in lives. I just haven't been doing videos. It's the only th Y2, Y3. Okay. So there's only Y. I don't know. I'm just gonna... I was gonna try to keep him in some sort of an order. But I'm just gonna... I already swatched these once, but... I figured we could swatch and talk. So this is Y2, that looks like a 4, but that's my Y. Oh, I love these markers. So I hope everybody's having a or had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Mine was... Eh. It was okay, I guess. I stayed at home and did nothing. Let's do some of the wise. But, <clears throat> back to the grind, hopefully, this week. Um, I did order some stuff for Native American beating. Turned out it's not going to work. What I thought it was, how it was going to work. It, uh, it actually didn't work at all, so... I bought the wrong stuff. So I reordered it, but I'm going to go ahead and do a new video with you guys on that. And then when it comes in, I can show you guys, because it's probably, the, the pattern I'm going to use is, I found a new pattern that I love that I bought off of Etsy. And I don't even know where to find it on my phone now. 
<laughs> that sounds bad. Um, it's absolutely stunning. There it is. It's absolutely just mind blowing. Oh, it's pulling it up on Etsy. Look at that. I bought that pattern so I can do that. I was just gonna copy it from from here because I can see everything, but it was five bucks. Oh well. Um, Trapper got to enjoy some snow. It snowed here two days in a row. It has been nuts. It started snowing Tuesday night, and I was like, okay, cool. This this could go in my favor, because I told my boss when I left Tuesday that I would see him, oops, the R3. I told him that I would see him Monday. <laughs> and because this has happened before, and... I was feeling it, you know, uh, I get snow at my house more than we do in town. So, so let's see, my house is right at 1100 feet in elevation from town, town being zero. So when it snows in town, it's it's a uh, it's a crazy. Nobody knows how to drive in town. I stay the hell out of town. So it snowed. Everybody was driving like idiots. I can show you guys some pictures real quick. And we got probably a good two and a half inches or so. That's when it like basically first covered the ground. And then driving to work. It's the first time in a while I've seen snow. It's such a beautiful picture. It's the first time in a while I can look up there on the mountains and see snow. It, we got a good blanket of snow. It rained after it snowed, so the next morning, Wednesday morning, heading to work, the snow was gone. So it was, it was clear, it was good, you know, so I, I go to work, I go in, I get my stuff done that I need to get done, and me and the boss were sitting there talking, and I was like, man, this sounds like it's coming down out there, and he's like, crap, I better get going, my dog's from the house. And I was like, yeah, I'd probably get it going too, although Trapper was in the house. Because my dad came over and put him in the house around 11 o'clock or so after he let him out to go potty and do his running around and chase stuff. And then in the house, my dad started fire for me, got a little nice and warm in my house, because it was down in the 40s. We went from being in the 80s, like, 
seven or eight days ago to being in the 40s. That's a huge, huge drop. And I think that's why I've been sick. Because we, we dropped, like, mega in... the temperature, so I think that's why I've been sick three or four times. It's like I cannot catch a break. And then, so I'm at work and we're like, man, we better get going and we end up sit there and bullshit for another 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so put this out there, this is not for children. Forgot to say that at the beginning. So yeah. Not for kids. My mouth. Yeah. So or like finally get out of there and it's it's coming down. Like it's straight up. Raining like a madman. I get... Now, work for me is probably... If I take the back road, instead of taking the freeway, like I usually always take the back road, it's, uh... It's like a 25-minute drive. Thirty sometimes, depending on traffic at the college. Cause where I get off, at the the college exit, which goes to Old Oregon Trail. Which Old Oregon Trail, if you guys know the story, Old Oregon Trail is the original trail the settlers came down from. Wherever. Um, you know, the old story. I, it's on the side of the, the bridge. I wish I could find a picture of it, but it's, it's on the side of the br bridge. They did it in concrete. And <clears throat> it's got a picture of, like, m m uh, sculpted into the concrete of, like, the wagons and the horses pulling the wagons. It's cool. It's like the old... Old Oregon Trail. So, I get off there or I take the freeway. Freeway is actually a little bit longer because I have to drive another two miles down to the freeway and then four miles back from the freeway to my work. So it's, oops, I don't want to do that. It's actually faster to go older trip, and then it turns into airport. <coughs> and so, to drive that route, I was coming home, and it about halfway down older trail, it turns into airport. So about halfway to work, it switches the name of the road. And <clears throat> if it's snowing on airport, it it's it's snowing in town. It's snowing in Reading. Reading, it, I mean, airport is Reading Airport. So I was it was slush on me when I got to. Oh. Uh, I think it was Bredo Bandito, which is about eight or nine minutes up the road from work from me. <clears throat> and it was slush, and I was like, oh crap. That means it's coming down at home. When it's slush in town, it's snowing like a madman at home. And it snowed like a madman. I was like, there's no way in hell, I'm taking the freeway, I'm taking the back road, get home, 
about halfway home it starts snowing worse and snowing worse and snowing worse and I was just like oh by the time I hit about five miles from home it was snowing so bad I couldn't see five feet in front of me and the guy in front of me the only reason I could see him and he was not going very fast in front of me. I mean, I'm just barely putting behind him because I can barely see. And he's like slamming on his brakes every couple of minutes, slipping and sliding all over the damn road. And I'm just like, quit hitting your brakes. Just take your foot off the gas. <clears throat> You'll be fine. Not a lot of people think it snows in California. Well, I used to live in Weaverville, which is in Trinity County, and they get up to eight feet up there. Um, Lassen County, which is about 45 minutes from me, they got 13 feet last year. So it snows in Cali. We got 15 inches last year. We just got lucky this year because it snowed like two or three inches and then stopped. And then it started raining. So it... It uh, <clears throat> cleared up. didn't stay on the ground for very long. But Trapper was a psycho with the snow. <clears throat> he went out there and he, he did his thing. It took me forever to get him to come in the house and come in and getting dried up and then he goes sit at the, the, the sliding glass door and wanting to go out and I'm just like no you already went out and you're soaking wet and you're not going back out some of these things smell good. I'll get you high, I guess. <clears throat> what the heck? PB10. Definitely interested in them making a bigger set. Miss Coffee told me that they are working on that. That's awesome. Definitely put some money down on that. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. Like, it's all scratchy. <sighs> it's like, eh. So, a lot of fun with the snow. Trapper, like, did not want to come inside. He wanted to stay out there and that shit. Like, no. It, it went from being 80 degrees like a week ago and it's now 40 degrees. No, I'm not, I'm not sitting outside. Why you play? It's 
So if you guys don't know, Trapper is the kind of dog where you can't just throw him outside and expect him to go someplace because as soon as you put him outside and I don't go outside, he's going to sit there out that door and stare at me until I go outside. And once I walk outside that door, he's gone. And then I can turn around, around and walk back in the house. And then two minutes later, he's at that porch staring at me again. Like, come on. Like, he does not go out and chase stuff or do his thing unless I'm sitting outside. He's a wacko. Loving these markers already. 11, 11, 11. Um, <clears throat> this one's before this one. No, this one's before that one. It's weird how his numbers are all over the place. I wish they would put him on 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 this instead of the ends because this stuff does come off. And then, <clears throat> like today, Thanksgiving, I didn't do anything. <clears throat> My uh, family went to different places for Thanksgiving. And then I had a headache, and my, my dad brought me some uh, <clears throat> ham. And homemade, homemade scallop potatoes. Oh my god, homemade scallop potatoes. <clears throat> my auntie makes the best. God, my throat, like, never seems to want to. It's like the last thing that's like hanging on like to get better. Get it right. <clears throat> it's a little better. So hopefully, I get back to diamond painting because I haven't done anything the whole time I was sick. I laid on the couch or I slept in bed. I haven't done nothing. Oh my god. That last color I did was, it's like a tealish color. This is a big piece of paper I got from work. I sit on my light, on my call it a light table. My drafting table. I don't have a light table. I have a light table at work though. I have a couple. Yeah, bud. Um. P. 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 There's a lot of P's. That's a lot of P's. Alright, I think that's it on these. So it's P two, three, no, nope, got P one, P four, But ever since the snow's been gone, <clears throat> all I, I noticed Trapper doing is, is sleeping. He played so much. All he wants to do now is be a lazy butt. 
or chase the cats. We have a cat sanctuary that lives across the street from us, and they can't seem to keep their cats locked up. I guess I could zoom in on you guys a little bit. She can't, they can't keep their cats locked up. So we have strays all over the place. We've had baby kittens. Um, we caught the kittens at a young age, and we were actually able to train them, or tame them, I should say, and then my dad's wife and that we kept two of them. One is completely black, with a little splotch of white on his chest and then the other one is um completely white all 100% white he is crazy um he's got an issue with his legs we're not exactly sure what the issue is, but we didn't want him to go to somebody that would be mean to him. So she ended up kept him. That way, we know he'll be okay. He's a lover of a cat. He's just got really really long legs on the back and when he walks they they like sit out sideways like he's got hip dysplasia or something but super cute cat his name is peter every time i go over to my dad's house i gotta go see the kitty cats and then his dog daisy not Miss Coffee's Daisy, our Daisy, but hi Daisy. <laughs> My dad needs a new dog, but he's fighting it. He's like, I don't want one, but you're gonna get one. My dad, the dog he has now is more or less my uh, dog, but, well, it's my dad. It's his and his wife's dog. She's more of her dog than his dog because she's more of a get under your blankets and stay warm. Chihuahua. Jack Russell Terrier mixture. <clears throat> and she she comes out, but not very rarely. Like, she'd rather stay over on the porch or... Ever since we had to put Hunter to sleep, my dad's black lab. Oh, Hunter pup. This red is so... Do I have the flash on? Yeah, I have the flash on for some reason. It is so vibrant. Beautiful. But yeah, it's just been a crazy week. Crazy couple of weeks. Got some uh, ink for my printer so I can do some coloring. I 
I printed off some pages at work too. Uh, her. And then. Koi fish. And her. It's gonna be stunning. Or nine or ten. So now that I'm feeling better, I'm gonna hope to have Videos getting pumped out. Get back on track. Jack. I feel like I've been lost in the land of sickness. A oh, beautiful light purple. She's a beautiful light purple. Um, RP1. I gotta get my fish tank in my craft room finished set up. I gotta go buy some live plants. I've not sure if they're selling the puffer fish that I want here in town, but I did find them online. So I can buy them online and they'll be shipped the next day. Which is not bad. It was like 30 bucks for the fish and shipping. And I'm going to get uh, two little puffer fish. No, three. Sorry, three. They say they're better to go in groups of three in a 10 gallon aquarium than doing two. Because if I do two, then the one could pick on the other. If I do three, hopefully they're, there's a, there's a, Male and two females. And then maybe they can have babies at some point. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Um, I have come to find out that... I thought I was losing my female guppies to motherhood having babies and such, you know, but come to find out that my beta fish is killing my female guppies. I watched her do it because I lost six female guppies in the last like three or four months, or no, maybe like two months. I was like, what is going on? Everybody seems healthy. And then I would... The other night, I was laying in bed. The fish tank light was on. And I watched my beta fish come swimming straight across the tank. And sit there. And watch... A... We named her, I, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but a few months, like maybe a year ago, I put on Instagram, I needed a, a name for a fish. And I think it was Redneck Beauty who said Bethany. And so, yeah, I just lost Bethany the other day. Because my, my beta fish decided to be a little beach.
My other beta fish that I had, my male, he was in the tank with the females for for four years. Not a, not a problem. And then he died after I had him for like... My brother's stepdaughter had him for like four years and then I had him for five or f no I've had him for another four so he was at eight years old and that's that's a long time for a beta fish so he lived a good happy life and then I was I've always loved beta fish so I was like I need another beta fish so I went and I found a little female because I think the females are cooler I want to get a fish tank of just have a, a beta soror a female beta sorority what they call them you put like three to four three to five females in one tank and they usually get along just fine uh, this is the colorless blender but I wonder if it makes a mark They turned out beautiful. So, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. It was a fun video to come back and get this out to you guys, which will be Friday. Um, and then the rest of the week end, I'm going to be doing some more videos. I want to work on... Native American Beating Project. I can get started on it. I don't even know if my loom's going to be big enough for this pattern. I'm going to have to print it out and find out. But, we'll get there. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do to make sure you ring that bell so you know when I'm posting. I hope you all have a great day, and as always, got your peace, and treat each other like you would like to be treated, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Later.